A wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss another cosmic mystery, but this time possibly a resolution to a mystery that was discovered back in 2018 and 2019. And you can kind of see it right here. It's a very strange line of galaxies, with two visible in green being particularly exciting. But more importantly, there is now evidence that this whole line was actually formed as a result of a major collision that the scientists are now calling the Bullet Dwarf Collision. Mostly because this was basically kind of like a bullet shooting through everything. And so in this video let's discuss exactly how this unusual structure formed, why this is such an important discovery, and how this might actually help us solve us mysteries about things like dark matter and the evolution of galaxies. But first, well, exactly what is this and why is it important? Well, normally when it comes to cosmology, it's usually the anomalies that help us discover how something actually works. So basically by detecting some kind of a really bizarre galaxy or some kind of an unusual structure, we can then start making different propositions and figure out if some of the more unusual explanations can potentially explain what's going on. And so in the last 10 years or so, one of the most unusual and most exciting discoveries in cosmology came from this somewhat normal looking galactic group referred to as NGC 1052. This is also the name of the main galaxy you see on the left. And this is an elliptical galaxy 63 million light years away from us that was originally discovered back in 1785 by the famous William Herschel. And well naturally this galaxy has been studied over the years quite extensively, and today we know it contains a relatively massive black hole, approximately 154 million solar masses, and seems to contain astrophysical jets and signs of a previous collision approximately a billion years ago. But when the optical telescopes became powerful enough, something else was discovered in this group that was a little bit unusual. In 2017 and in 2018, scientists discovered a pair of somewhat strange diffuse galaxies, in this case ultra-diffuse dwarf galaxies, basically dwarf galaxies that are barely visible, that shared several exceptional properties, including the fact that both of them were missing dark matter. As a matter of fact, these were the first confirmed dark matter free galaxies, which was extremely difficult to explain. Or in other words, the motion of stars in these galaxies could entirely be explained by all of the visible mass and not some kind of a hidden mass that we usually refer to as dark matter. And we actually discussed this in some of the previous videos on the channel that should be in the description, but in essence this presented a somewhat unusual discovery. And so first of all, for alternative theories, this suggested that dark matter might be a particle after all, and these alternative theories, like MOND, might not be correct. Second of all, for modern cosmology, this also presented a bit of an issue, because it was kind of difficult to explain how these galaxies would form. In modern theories, we actually expect dark matter to be a kind of a scaffolding, or a kind of a foundation, for all galaxies to eventually form around. But if these galaxies had no dark matter, so how exactly did they form? And because around the same time researchers also discovered additional diffuse galaxies that were basically the opposite and contained massive amounts of dark matter, here this suddenly produced a really bizarre mystery. Some diffuse galaxies had a lot of dark matter, other ones like this one seem to have basically none. And on top of this, they also had somewhat bright and somewhat massive globular clusters, several times brighter than they should be and containing way more stars implying that whatever these galaxies were, they most likely were very different before and somehow transformed over time. And so for several years, researchers were actively trying to figure out exactly what this is, how this formed, and obviously if this was even real. And at first some of the explanations suggested that maybe we actually miscalculated distances, and maybe these galaxies were way closer, and thus were not unusual at all. But within approximately three years, by 2021, the new Hubble pictures resolved this as well. It looked like these galaxies were indeed pretty far, and it looked like they indeed lacked dark matter. They were not entirely dark matter free, but they were basically dark matter deficient. But it was really in the last two to three years that something else started to be discovered about this location, eventually helping researchers possibly explain this once and for all. And this was based on wider observations coming out of several telescopes, including the Keck Observatory in Hawaii, that was able to detect and study additional objects, including several neighboring galaxies, that surprisingly had a lot in common. Specifically, they seemed to move in a very similar way. And strangely enough, 
pretty much most of them seem to be placed in a kind of an imaginary line and moving along this line for what seemed to be a very long time, possibly billions of years. And so following years of research and additional observations, we now potentially have our first official explanation of what most likely happened here, how this all formed, and how these galaxies are connected. And so what is this main explanation? Well, it seems to be extremely similar to what we observe in the famous bullet cluster. A massive galactic cluster colliding with another cluster, or based on various gravitational lensing studies and based on X-ray observations, scientists determined that huge amounts of dark matter seem to be escaping this cluster on both sides, while a lot of gas seems to be interacting in the middle. In other words, this unusual cluster, a cluster resembling a flying bullet, serves as a very important visual proof for the existence of dark matter as some kind of an invisible, non-interacting particle. Which is why this new discovery is now referred to as bullet dwarf. A miniature version of this, where instead of having two massive clusters, we basically had two galaxies that very likely produced something extremely similar, and that now is visible as this extremely long line containing several objects that were potentially formed as a result of this collision. Or just to rephrase this, this basically started as this billions of years ago. According to the study, it's possibly 9 billion years ago. And a lot of this evidence is based on the observation of 12 independent dwarf galaxies along the line. Which is of course why it's referred to as the bullet collision, as if there was a bullet flying through this, forming the galaxies. And well, first of all, out of 12 of these objects, 10 seem to have extremely similar properties, extremely similar velocities and orientation, and extremely similar age. They were formed between 7 to 11 billion years ago, and are all moving along this unusual line in either one of the directions. And so several of these galaxies potentially represent leftovers from a head-on bullet-like collision. A collision between two galaxies, potentially dwarf galaxies, that were potentially extremely massive, very likely contained a lot of dark matter and regular matter, but just like the bullet cluster, eventually fell apart, moving in two separate directions. And so, for example, because there was a lot of gas left behind, and this gas contained no dark matter, a lot of this collisional gas very likely eventually clumped into groups of stars and larger objects, resulting in at least two of these galaxies, in this case referred to as DF2 and DF4. And these two galaxies, because they're moving away from each other, and because in some of the previous explanations a potential collision was indeed the explanation for the lack of dark matter, here this only makes sense. Now having such a high velocity collision occur twice in a very similar region would be very difficult to explain, but if this was just one collision and produced both objects, that's a lot more likely. And so basically here, extremely similar to the bullet cluster, all of the dark matter separated from regular matter and moved along that line visible in the image. And because they seem to have similar age, similar velocity, and even similar composition, it would only make sense if these two galaxies were formed from the same stuff around the same time. But Michael Keim and the team you see right here additionally proposes that this was not the only two galaxies. At least seven of these galaxies were formed as a result of this collision, including RCP32, RCP26, DF9, TA21, and DF5. Here, because they all have very similar kinematics or very similar motion, and they also seem to have relatively similar age and a lot of other galactic properties, currently it makes the most sense if all seven galaxies were the result of this very powerful collision roughly around 9 billion years ago. In other words, as these two galaxies smacked into each other at really high velocities, they completely fell apart and then created at least seven more parts moving in opposite directions. And as a result, they also formed this very unusual structure inside the cluster that's almost 7 million light years in length. Basically this invisible line that potentially contains a lot of other leftovers including dark matter and additional dust seems to represent an ancient head-on collision. And this was confirmed through simulations and modeling, and right now makes the most sense based on all of these observations. And especially because the velocity for all of these galaxies is just a little bit different from the rest of the NGC 1052 group. It's as if something influenced these 12 galaxies, but not the other galaxies in the group. And that something was probably that really massive collision. A high-speed collision between two extremely gas-rich dwarf galaxies, that eventually resulted in a production of seven smaller galaxies, and at least two of them seem to lack dark matter completely. 
with these dark matter free galaxies being explained as the result of all of this gas, regular gas, that got slowed down by the collision and the interactions, eventually got squished into larger chunks, heated up and produced new stars. And because this happened approximately 9 billion years ago, this is why some of the stars here seem to be 7 to 9 billion years old. Naturally, we expect something very similar to happen in the famous bullet cluster as well. But here, there's one more additional question. So what happened to the progenitors of the collision and where did they end up? Well, right now, the main proposition is that at least one of the progenitors potentially became the satellite of NGC 1052, but we don't really know which one yet. But the other one, because it was moving so fast, very likely escaped 9 billion years ago, and so we're unlikely to discover it anytime soon. Which of course means that all of this could be confirmed if we discover which of the satellites of this galaxy ends up being one of the progenitors. And if all of this is confirmed, this would be a huge news for dark matter scientists. Because here this would officially confirm that dark matter is indeed some kind of an invisible particle. It's a particle that can be physically separated from a galaxy. And it's a particle that can produce a lot of these bizarre effects we observe all over the place. But naturally here we would still not know what particle this is and how to even find it. Either way, because of this really massive collision 9 billion years ago, with two galaxies crashing into each other at 350 kilometers per second, we may now have one of our best proofs for the existence of dark matter as some kind of an invisible particle. At least based on the analysis from the study, the analysis of this cluster, and the explanations from all of these galaxies we see here. Otherwise, their motion is kind of difficult to explain, and it's practically impossible to explain why some of these galaxies seem to lack dark matter. And so in conclusion, right now we have pretty strong evidence that this whole bullet dwarf cluster was very likely produced by some kind of a massive event 9 billion years ago. Especially because seven of these galaxies seem to be extremely similar to each other and seem to have very similar velocities. But at least for now, that's all we know. Once scientists discover something else, we'll come back and discuss this more in some of the future videos. Until then, check out some of the previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon, where you can find additional videos without any ads, and can also DM me directly, or maybe support this channel by joining the channel membership, where you get early access and some other videos. Alternatively, you can buy the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.